All right, guys, on to standard four. I told you standard three would be quick. <laughs> all right, uh, standard four is a little bit more complex. Here we need to identify all of the anatomical features of your larynx. Remember, your larynx is your voice box. This is where all the airway that goes, any air that moves through the pharynx gets pushed through your uh, larynx. Uh, the first thing to remember is that we have that little hyoid bone, which is right here at the bottom. This is where all the muscle attachment for your tongue comes down. And so this kind of explains that when you swallow, you actually push your tongue back. And it's one of the muscles that causes the epiglottis to actually close. Um, so that's your hyoid bone up here on top. Uh, below that is your thyroid car cartilage. Um, this is one of those weird things that happen with uh, secondary sex traits. If you take too much testosterone or have, and for a male, if you have enough testosterone, if you're juicing too much testosterone, you will actually grow a growth of extra thyroid cartilage and that becomes the Adam's apple. And that just occurs because testosterone causes extra growth in the thyroid cartilage. Um, it's also the cartilage that houses your vocal cords. And so that's literally the spot right behind there is where your vocal cords rest. Um, your coracoid or curacoid uh, cartilage is down here. And this is just basically the connection piece between your voice box and the trachea. It's kind of a connection point between the two spots. Um, that makes it um, just basically a structure for support for the rest of the larynx up above it. All right. Um, the epiglottis is this flap that closes over the top as you swallow food or beverages. It just basically your tongue comes down and closes over the top of it. Um, hopefully this loads. But here's the idea. There's the epiglottis. There's your hyoid bone. And there's your thyroid cartilage. And basically this flaps down. As air comes through, it's always open. So air can always flow through. But as soon as you swallow some food, that food literally grabs that handle, I guess you could call it, and closes it down right over the top of your entire larynx. So that food can go back through the esophagus and... Uh, it can be left open constantly for air to travel in and out. Really important structure, probably the most important structure of the larynx, it and the glottis. So the glottis is broken up into a couple different areas. Your glottis is actually the opening in between your vocal cords. It's where air actually moves through. And so here's the epiglottis, just so you know where you're at. This is your tongue, so you're basically in your pharynx standing in your pharynx looking down your tongue's here so your mouth would be up this way and so as you stare down you can see that there's your glottis is this opening your true vocal cords are these thin and they they look pinkish white when you see them in the video which will be right uh It'll be on this module somewhere. You'll find it. So in the video, you'll see somebody getting a scopey, getting um, their entire respiratory tract looked at. And you can find these very easily. They're much, much paler and whiter than the other structures around them. And those are your true vocal cords. Now, next to them are these protective or vestibular vocal cords. We don't use these vocal cords, uh, but they do work as protection for your true vocal cords. Um, and so they can be called false or vestibular, but uh, basically they're protective vocal cords. And so they uh, sit superficial to your true vocal cords. So your true vocal cords are doing all the vibrating and these are just protecting them from anything hitting them in case you do have the Doritos incident where you chew too fast and it gets in there and gets the scratchiness. If you don't want to scratch your vocal cords, it will literally change the way and tone of your voice because any change to that structure will change the way you sound. Okay, uh, get those memorized. There will be a picture like this that you will need to be able to identify those structures. All right, go get it, guys.